Those new restrictions are tough for businesses that have only recently allowed customers to return. Yeah, tough because they've already been going through so much adaptation this year so far. Let's go to Jenny Young. She's joining us live now to break this all down for us. And Jenny, we also understand that you talked with a leader in the local restaurant industry. That's right, Jeff Elizabeth, and he said, you know, it's not just restaurant owners and employees who are really missing out and, uh, you know, obviously a loss for them, but it's also people who enjoy going out to eat. And he brought up the point that, you know, a lot of people dine out, go to restaurants is sort of a form of therapy, especially during COVID when we're really isolated, especially during such a contentious political climate. And he said, you know, honestly, it's a form, it's a reprieve, uh, a mental reprieve. So definitely those people are missing out as well. More frustrating news for Oregon's restaurant industry. People are working so hard out there to protect paychecks for their employees. Governor Brown and OHA officials announcing a two-week pause on social activities for Multnomah, Marion, Jackson, Malheur, and Umatilla counties. It includes a deeper cap on restaurant capacity. Reducing indoor restaurant capacity to a maximum of 50 people, including both staff and customers, Current restrictions allow 100 people in the building, including staff, six feet of distance between tables with no more than 10 people at a table. The new restrictions, which will start on Wednesday, will allow no more than six to a table. The new restrictions like this, I mean, they, they feel like a you know, a shot right to the gut. Jason Brandt with the Oregon Restaurant and Lodging Association says they don't think these new rules will make much of a difference. His group wants the governor to put together an economic advisory council that he says would help her office better understand the local economic impacts of regulations. We actually have provided some schematics for larger footprint restaurant operations uh, to the governor's office to show them how we can safely distance groups uh, outside of these arbitrary 50 or 100 person caps. For weeks, Coin6 has been telling you that health officials say rising case numbers are attributed to small informal gatherings. State health officer Dr. Dean Seidlinger says while it would be difficult to trace spread to an individual restaurant, the cause for concern is legitimate. Brandt thinks this decision might actually have an opposite effect. And I'm just really concerned that this is going to direct people more to private settings where we don't have those same controlled environments. All right, according to the website portlandfoodandbar.com, we have lost, the metro area has lost 65 restaurants. They've closed permanently, permanently since May. Now, Brant says he is thankful that they decided to push this back until Wednesday. That gives restaurants time to plan and find whatever, uh, get rid of their surplus food so it doesn't spoil. That was a problem back in March uh, when we had that first shutdown. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.